So this is a great question and it's one that comes up very frequently in financial plans. The conventional wisdom is that if you've got a secure defined benefit pension plan, you can go easy on the bond portion of your personal investments because your pension functions as a kind of fixed income uh, investment. And that makes sense uh, in the sense that you do have more ability to take risk when you have a defined benefit pension plan. And if you're comfortable with it, you can certainly increase the allocation to stocks in your personal portfolio in order to accommodate that. But when I speak to investors about this question, I like to ask them to consider the other side of the coin as well. You might have more ability to take risk in your portfolio, but you probably also have less need. And the reason for that is if you're relying on income from a defined benefit pension plan, you probably need to rely less on income from your personal portfolio. And if that's the case, you probably have a lower target rate of return over the course of your retirement. And if you can get by with a 2%, 3%, 4% return in your portfolio, you probably don't need to take very much risk. And so if you're like most people and you're risk averse and you would prefer not to hold a lot of stocks in your portfolio and you'd like to sleep at night better, then it makes more sense for you to actually consider holding more bonds in your portfolio, taking less risk there because you don't need that risk.